Hello everyone and welcome to Practical Open Source. My name is Peter and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to draw your own drawing border and title block using LibreCAD for A4 size paper. Let's get started. Okay, so let's create a new document and go to Options, Current Drawing Preferences. Let's go to Paper and let's set this to A4 Portrait. Go to Units. Make sure that's to set to millimeters and hit OK. Next, let's create a new layer. We'll call this uh, Paper Format. We'll change the color to magenta and we'll change the width to 0.35 millimeters. Now let's draw a rectangle to represent our piece of paper. So we'll go to Line, Rectangle. The first corner we're going to set to 0, 0. The next corner is 210 millimeters wide by 297 millimeters tall. Hit enter, right click to get out of that. And there is our paper. Next I'm going to select this rectangle, go to modify, explode. Now I'm going to create a new layer called drawing border. We'll leave it as black and white. We'll change the width to 0.35 millimeters. Now I'm going to select these three sides here and I want a margin of 5 millimeters so I'll go to modify, offset, make sure the distance is set to 5 and then click on the inside. Hit control K. Now I'm going to select this side and on this side I'm going to offset by 15 millimeters to give us a wider margin on the left. Hit control K. Now I'm going to go to modify, Trim 2, and I'm going to trim these lines we just drew. Like that. Next, I'm going to select the lines we just drew. Go to Modify, Offset, change that distance to 5, and now we have some inside lines. Now I'm going to Trim these lines as well. Now I'm going to select the outside lines and go to Modify Attributes and I'm going to double the line width to 0.7 like that. Now uh, I'm going to add a grid to our drawing border. We're going to have two columns and three rows. So I'm going to go to Line, Vertical, Length is set to 5, Snap Point will be Start. I'm going to turn on um, Midpoint Snapping and make sure the midpoint is set to 1 and then put that there. Now I'm going to draw some horizontal lines, set the midpoint to 2, length 5, snap point end, and I'm going to pick the midpoints along this side. Now I want to add some labels, so I'll just go into page format to draw some temporary lines here. Now I want to turn on endpoint snapping, corner. This is just going to help me locate the midpoint for these areas. Now I want to add some labels. So I will go back to the drawing border layer, add text, and I want the height of the text to be 2 millimeters. And I want the text to actually be the label A. I want the alignment to be mid center, middle center. Hit OK. Now I want to turn midpoint snapping on make sure the midpoint is set to 1. There's one label and I can come up here and change it to B. And along the rows, the rows will be numbers, so I'll set that to 1, 2, and 3. Now I can get rid of these temporary lines. Don't need them anymore.
And now we're going to add a rectangle on the side of this drawing border right here by going to line rectangle. Clicking anywhere, I'm going to give it a width of 2.5 millimeters and a height of 100. I'm going to move it over to this side by going to modify, move, uh, midpoint, there, to there. Delete the original. Control K to deselect everything. And this rectangle will help us when we're printing our drawing. Okay, so the next thing we're going to draw is the title block. So let's create a new layer for that. And we will call it title block. Now let's change the color to blue and the width to 0.35 millimeters. Next, let's just check the width of the inside of our drawing border here. So by going to distance, point to point, and let's turn on endpoint snapping and check corner, corner, and we see that we have 180 millimeters. So let's draw a rectangle now in this bottom left corner, and I will make it 10 by 10. Okay, now I'll select that rectangle and go to modify explode select these three lines go to modify move copy from this endpoint that endpoint and we want to keep the original Control k to deselect everything now let's select these five lines here and go to move copy again and from that endpoint to that endpoint this time we want multiple copies and we have a span of 180 and these are 10 wide, and we need one less because we already have one. And there we go, Control K to deselect everything. Next, let's start filling in some fields here. So we will insert some text and we will say, um, drawn by, and we want the height to be two millimeters, and we want the alignment to be bottom left. We'll hit OK, turn grid snapping on, and we will snap it to there. Next, we want a sheet. Put it here. Oh, and we can get rid of this line and this line. Um, next, we want um, scale. Put that over here. Delete. Let's add uh, rev next, and we can put that in this cell right there. And then for the rest of it, let's put the date at there. We can get rid of these lines for the date. Let's just make sure the date will fit. So let's change, double the height to four millimeters, change the alignment to middle center, and let's type in the date format here like so, hit OK, make sure it fits, and it does. All right, and then for the, rem the remaining, you can add more fields if you like, but I'm just going to put the drawing title one, and then line two beneath it, but I'll change the height to six, middle center again, and snap it in there. Finally, what I'll do is I'll change the color of the title block to black. Okay, so next let's try to insert our drawing border and title block into an actual drawing. What we're going to do is we're going to save this as um, drawing format A4 portrait. Hit save. Now we're going to open our drawing and go to File, Import, Block, and select that file that we just saved and snap it to the origin. This is now a block. It's a single entity, so we can just click on it to select it. Now we need to scale it up. So we're going to go to Modify, Scale. Click the origin, we want to delete the original, 
We want isotropic scaling and we want to scale it up by 10. Okay, now we see that the drawing fits, or the border fits our drawing. Now let's go to print preview to see how it looks. As you can see, our paper format is being is shown on the print preview and we don't want that. So I'm going to come over here and click this icon here. And now it won't be on the printout, but the scaling isn't quite right yet. So let's go back to our drawing. Let's create a new layer called dimensions. We'll change the color to red and give it a width of 0.35. Okay. Now let's dimension this rectangle that we put on the drawing border by going to dimension vertical. Now I turn endpoint snapping on. Snap to the end of the rectangle there to the bottom. Now let's go to, can't see it, so let's go to current drawing preferences, dimensions, and let's multiply it by 10. That's better. So now our original rectangle was only 100 millimeters tall. It is now 1,000 millimeters tall. Let's go back to print preview. When we come up here to the scale, this checkbox here labeled fix, uncheck that, and let's type that in. So let's type in uh, our original rectangle was 100, it is now 1000. Let's check fixed, keep it that way, and center the drawing. Now you can see that our margins are correct. We have 5 millimeters on the top and bottom and on the right side, and 15 millimeters on the left side. Let's go back to our drawing. We can get rid of this dimension now. If we go back to print preview, we can see that LibreCAD has figured out that our scale is actually 1 to 10. What this rectangle lets you do is verify the scale of your output, of your printed drawing. Uh, you can just take a ruler to it and measure it and it should be 100 millimeters. Let's go back to our drawing. Now we imported our drawing border and title block as a block. So in order to edit it, we need to go to Modify, Explode. Now we can add our uh, scale to it. So let's go to Text, go 1 to 10. Height is 4. Our original height was 4, but because we've scaled it up by 10, it is now 40. We can hit OK and then insert it into our field tab. And if you don't remember your scale, um, you could just select that and copy it and change it in there. But ideally, you would already have uh, your fields in here and you'd just be editing it anyways. And yeah, that's uh, how you draw a drawing border and title block in LibreCAD. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below in the comments section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.